Imagine losing your life savings to an elaborate superannuation scam. Police say it's more common than you might think. An increasing number of retirees are falling victim to fraudulent investment schemes. Australian losses are estimated to top $90 million, and that's just the tip of the iceberg. This self-funded retiree, who only wants to be known as Rob, has lost everything. It's taken a toll. Uh, I've lost my home too. Yeah, at the moment, I'm basically in a suitcase and uh, applying for the pension. Ashamed and embarrassed, he explains how he invested half a million dollars in a bogus coal mine in China. He was promised a 100% return. Very uh, professionally um, spoken to, you know, and every time he asked a question, I had an answer for it, and it sounded legit. Police say Rob is just one of thousands of victims. We have had people fall victim to this who are, in fact, professional financial consultants themselves. Trust me, these people will take everything that you have and uh, that's why we need to protect you. They operate from call centres in Southeast Asia, preying on Australians approaching retirement and promising a safe investment in tough economic times. We have a very strong dollar at the moment um, and believe it or not, criminals do think about the exchange rate. The victims are told to send their money to an overseas bank account. Then they're directed to a website. They see the return on their investments and they feel satisfied that their money is properly invested. And unfortunately, that's not the case. It's not until they decide to cash in that they realise they've lost everything. There would still be some people out there that are victims that would not even today know that they are victims. Others are being warned that if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Jane Margetts, ABC News.